You know, at least at the very least, I get to have fun getting into fights with people while waiting for this prostitute to show up. Now, I did actually have a conversation with the bartender who said that the woman had been hanging who was going around killing people. And I thought that... Oh! Got her! <laughs> I thought that was the person we got in a bounty a while ago, but he may have been referencing the prostitute. Because um, I know there's actually a lot to do with this particular prostitute. And um, I might actually take a couple episodes to cover all of it because we'd have to do various different things to get every conversation. Um, but I'm in a different save game now, a little bit earlier in the game, trying to get her spawned in. And we'll see if we can get lucky this time. Giggity again? Because prostitute getting lucky. I'm just going to shut up. Make some easy money. Come with me. I keep talking. Um, I'm going to get jumped, aren't I? I feel like every time I've ever followed anybody in this game, it has ended with either Arthur's butthole feeling a little funny afterwards. What? My bastard of a friend double crossed me again, and I ain't gonna stand for it this time. Okay. So listen, he's staying at the nearby hotel. You rob him, we split the money. What do you say? Okay. This is new. Oh, why the hell not? Okay. He's at the saloon, tying one on, so go ahead to 1B in the hotel and look for some easy money. 1B? What? I've never done... I've never seen this in the game, ever. What is... I should hang around in Valentine more. Apparently there's a lot of stuff around here I haven't... Oh. You're back. Wait. Since when is there a woman in the... In the hotel. The constipated guy is still here. So we gotta go to 1B, huh? I feel like this is a trap. Is this... So this is uh, 2C. Wait, is it gonna be on the first floor? Gotta be, because it's 1, right? Yeah, so... I didn't even realize... I thought that was just the, the bathtub down there. Oh, I hope I actually make some money from this. Don't mind me. I'm just a little lost, pretty lady. So what do we got here? It's 1A and 1B. Search for the stash, huh? What? Really? I don't think it's going to be in any of these drawers, is it? There's no way. Okay. Of course. Of course. It's gonna make me search all of them. Am I gonna get pimp slapped from behind? I'm looking in the mirror just to be safe. Oh. Oh, think you can rob me, oh shit! Let's go. Oh, oh god! No! Arthur! Defend yourself! We've been fighting people all day, man! I can't see him. Oh, yeah, right in the cojones. I think it was the stomach, but it looked like the dick from here. You got any extra money on you? Return to the stranger. 61 cents! And a ring. But maybe there's even more in here. Look at that painting! That's a face right there. Else we, anything else? Nothing. Okay. All right. Where's the stranger? I feel like the... I can't believe we didn't get jumped. Well, I mean, we got jumped. But not in the way I thought we would. Obviously, still haven't been able to find the prostitute. It might take me a hot minute, but... Uh, you come back here causing more problems like this. I'll get the sheriff. You hear me? I appreciate you not turning me in this time, okay? Thank you. I will come back and show you a good time. Exactly what I'm gonna do. Oh shit, that's not my horse. Hey, buddy. Hey, what friend, what you doing here. back here? Get, oh, you know what? Let's, let's. What happens if we lie? Yeah, listen. I looked all over. The room was dry. Damn, that rat bastard must have spent it all already. <laughs> Son of a bitch! 
<laughs> well, thanks for trying anyway. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna be back. Like, if he'll ever show up again, like, with another stash or something. That was pretty cool. I wonder what else we got going on around here that I've not seen before. Oh, dude, what's this guy doing up here? I've never actually paid attention to what this building even is. Help wanted, ask inside. I don't mind, I wouldn't mind a job. Oh, 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 don't mind me. I'm just, I'm, I'm not doing nothing. Well, that guy's Duncan Frunk. So I have literally had the world's worst luck getting this prostitute to spawn. I have no idea what's going on. I figured maybe we'll just have some fun here in Valentine because there's a lot of weird stuff that's going on around here. And um, one of two things. Oh, oh I almost ran that guy over. Jesus. Maybe we'll get lucky. So these guys, you can find them at day or at night. And they're saying different things depending on when you find them. Which I think is pretty cool, because they like stand there pretty much all day arguing. Is Coon Hat Dude going to be in here? No. Unfortunately not. Now, there's this one conversation here that I think is kind of interesting. Let's see if we can get it to happen. It's happened literally every other time. Are you trying to kick me out of here? Your mom's been in town long. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, no, I care. I care a lot. No, wait. What? Of course I want to know about a damn curse. Get back here. What? You can't just tease me like this and leave, you bastard. Where are you going? Oh, I am so freaking curious now. Is it because of the guy that's been shitting himself for like eight years? Is that why this town is cursed? What? I can't... He just gave me like... Mystery blue balls is what he just did. This is terrible. So he was talking about the Valentine curse, and he did mention church, and he walked up to the church. So is there anything back here? I kind of want to follow him around and see if he does anything. Is he just going to circle around this area and then look at the graveyard? Is there something at the graveyard we need to know about? I wonder. So... I figure maybe we'll take a look here. Is there... Uh... A save for going into a graveyard? That's interesting. This doesn't have... This doesn't have any writing on it. There's a new mystery for me to solve! Dear Husband Albert Calloway, 1816 to 1899, Catherine Calloway, Loving mother and wife, 1875. Okay. Maggie Calloway, 1876. What does that say? I, ca I can't read it for some reason. Uh, so let's see. Are these people like just like all families that are dying really close to each other? Oh, there's somebody here. Eugene Dunn, 1886. We perished... But it's now with God. Thomas Dunn, husband of Lucy, father of Eugene, 1862. So here's Eugene. Nothing on that one. Mary Dunn, loving sister to Bridget, 1886. So a lot of these people... Died pretty close. Lucy Dunn. Oh. 18... 
13 to 1895. And then Bridget Dunn. Does that say a bagel? Definitely doesn't. An angel something. 1886 again. So maybe this is what the curse is. Because a lot of these people are dying really close together. March 14th, 1879. Her faithful soul f has fled. Another empty one. I wonder if we loot these two people, what happens? Clara Douglas, 1879. She was an angel taken by the devil. Oh. Intriguing. The devil man, the strange man. David Douglas died doing what he loved. Giggity. Well, I wonder what he loved. <laughs> Prostitutes? Probably. Matthias Dalton inspired. Okay. So I don't see anything too crazy here. I'm like, okay. I'm normal behavior, you know? I'm trying to figure out a freaking mystery. Mind your own business. Unless you want me to steal your letters off your body. I will do that. I am known for that. Who, who are you, you know, paying respects to? Caroline. Caroline, huh? How do you do? You sure brighten up the place? Thank you. Take care now, you. God be with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to loot her. I'm gonna keep looking here and see if there's anything else that's uh, piques my interest. Okay, so I didn't see anything that really jumped out at me, other than like whole families dying relatively close together, not always like the same day or the same year. Some same year, uh, some within like a year of each other. Um, but aside from that, nothing too crazy. Uh, I do want to loot you though. In the most quiet way possible. I'm sorry, this might be the worst thing I've ever done in this game. Uh, there we go. You have a letter. Whoops. There be witnesses. You saw nothing. All right, no letter on you. But where's the guy that talked to me? Is he still hanging out over here? Oh, no, he, he booked it. So there's a mystery to be solved here. Maybe. And I really want to know what it is. So, apparently there's a curse here. There's a prostitute I still can't find. And uh, it seems like the owner of the bar may know about the prostitute murdering people upstairs. So, things need to be investigated. I hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you think. And if you have any other tips towards the Valentine curse, feel free to let me know in the comments below. And if you know how to get the stupid prostitute to spawn, I would love to know that one as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Ow, you're so far away, you're cheating. I'm using knives. This is not fair. Not fair at all. <laughs>